Ayan. Uh, we are now in number 7 of our problem. So, nakalagay dito, moderate na naman yung problem. Hindi pa rin siya yung difficult. So, number 7. So, number 7, sabi ng problem, how much twisting moment, ibig sabihin, torque in kilogram meter is required to drive the shaft of the motor coupled to a pump with a rotational speed of 2,500 RPM. The pump efficiency is 82.5% and can deliver 22 at uh, 20 at uh, 2,500 gallons per minute, so GPM of cold water at a height of 250 feet. So, ilista ko muna ah. Lista natin. Binigay niyo yung head total na 250 feet. Binigay niyo yung Q na 20 at 2,500 GPM. Nagbigay siya ng N na 2,500 RPM. Ano pa ang binigay niya? Nagbigay siya ng efficiency. 0.825. Now, ako, tignan nyo ha, meron na tayong feet, meron na tayong GPM. Anong magandang gawin dyan? Kuhanin muna natin yung power. Kasi ang basis of the power, para masold natin yung torque, you know, 2 pi Tn. Okay. Set aside natin to. Okay? Therefore, power is equal to 2 pi Tn. Ngayon yung torque will be equal to power over 2 pi n. Pero hindi ko gustong gamitin to eh. Ang hirap niyan. Okay? I'll show you later. Okay. Solve muna natin yung power ng water. Okay? So, pump power. In English to ah, naka HP. So, dapat ito, Q, yung ginawa kong shortcut, H total over 3960 diba, uh, multiply by E. Ngayon, ito dapat naka-GPM. Check, naka-GPM siya. Si H, naka-fit. Naka-fit siya. Ang lalabas dito in HP na. So, Q is 2,500. Tanggalin ko na yung unit kasi alam ko namang HP na ang lalabas sa kanya. H is 2,250 uh, feet. Tanggalin ko na rin yung feet. 3,960 multiply by E, 0.825. Tapos, ang unit niya is in HP na. So, we know na meron na tayong power. So, calculate ko. 2,500 times 250 divide by 3,960 times 0.825. Point eight two five okay one nine one three zero seven zero one nine one point three zero seven zero HP so meron na tayo na solve na power now may papakita ko sa inyo pagdating ng power pwede natin equate yan in machine design meron tayong T N over factor and since yung TN over factor na to kapag SI this is in TN over 954900 ang kalalabasan ng unit na to is Newton millimeter e paano naman kapag hmm, paano naman kapag English units. So, TN over 63025. Ang lalabas dito is pound inch. Yon, may natutunan naman kayong bago sa akin. Okay? Gamit na gamit yung mga equation na yan. Pagdating ng inyong board exam, hindi nyo na kailangan mag 2 pi TN. Yan na yung derived formula dyan. Okay? Ito ang gagamitin natin. To get yung torque. So, for the torque, for the torque, gamitin natin ito. Torque. Ang lalabas is pound inch. So, T, uh, T is BP, TN, power, factor, times N. So, power. What is power? 191.3070 HP 
multiplied by 63025 pound inch per HP minute. Hindi divide natin ng 25 RPM. A minute, cancel natin yung minute. Cancel natin yung mga same units. Minute, minute, HP, HP. Ang lalabas is pound inch. <coughs> Now, ang kailangan natin is kilogram force meter. So, all we have to do is ilang kilograms ba meron to one pump? So, one ilang newtons per one kilogram per 2.205 pounds e eh, nakameter tayo so meron tayong <coughs> uh, 25.4 inch 25.4 mm per inch times 1 uh, meter 1000 mm tignan nga natin kung may gintama siya so calculate ko 191.3070 times 63025 times 25.4 divide natin ng 25.4 times 2.205 times 1,000. Yun. Ang lumabas ay 55. The torque will be 55.556 kilogram force meter. Napakadali. Basic. Okay? Solve na natin siya. Napakadali niyan. And ang mga nilalabas ko sa inyo, you will encounter it when you go to your terminal year in college. Okay? These are uh, napakahirap na problem nito pagdating nyo sa point niyan. But, I assure you, pag-aralan mo na ng pag-aralan to, you'll get through this. Okay? So, let's move on sa number 8. Problem number 8. For given pumping requirements, fluid to be handled is oil with specific gravity of SG, nagbigay na naman siya. 0.85. And, 85 degrees Fahrenheit. Hindi naman ito gagamitin dito eh. The pump is electrically driven using may power na binigay. Power of the pump is 8.5 kilowatts. Motor. Oil volumetric flow is at nagbigay ng Q. Q is at 185 gallons per minute. The total head, nagbigay na agad ng head total. The total head is 85 PSI pounds per square inch. Now, compute the hydraulic efficiency. Ang hirap naman! Hirap naman yan. Ha? Huwag ko, hindi ko masolve yan. Hindi, joke lang. Solve ko ito. Uh, ang hydraulic efficiency, pag binigay yung motor power mo, tandaan mo, meron ang brake power, brake power equal to gamma Q head total divided by any efficiency na yung ganyan dyan. Ayan yun, no? Ayan yun. Okay? Pero, yung gamma mo kasi, nagbigay ka ng HG. So, this will be the SG ni oil density ni tubig Q ni tubig uh, ni oil times mo ng gravity kasi ito, rho G is uh, gamma times head total divide by EH yung nahanap EH okay so for uh, solving EH will be SG, what is the SG? 0.85 62.4 kapag water English naman yan 
pound per cubic foot. Tapos, Q na agad. Q is 185 gallon per minute. Times ko ng 1 cubic foot per 7.481 gallon. Tapos, i-multiply ko ng head total. Diretso ko na dito. 85 pound per inch squared. Multiply ko agad to. 144. Kapag nakita na kayo maraming feet dyan, multiply nyo na agad ang conversion factor nya. 1 feet squared. Tapos, gamma pa rin, which is pareho lang naman, 62.4 pound per feet cube. All over. Ang conversion niya para maging HP is 33,000 feet pound per HP minute. Each minute. Tapos, multiply mo pa ng yung power na ibinigay sa'yo 8.5 kilowatts tapos yung conversion factor na 1 HP per 0.746 kilowatts yun masasolve na natin sya pinutin ko sa algae so meron tayong pwedeng makancel dito, yes itong 62.4 yan, tanggalin natin ang matitira dito is uh, wala So, cancel yung gallon. Cancel tong pound per feet cube. Yung minute, minute, minute. Yung pound, yes, yung pound. Yung inch, yung inch, yung feet, yung feet. Yung HP, na-cancel ko. Yung kilowatt and kilowatt. Yung HP, yung feet. And yung gallon. Cancel lahat sila. So, maiging efficiency nga to. So, let us uh, calculate. 0.85. Wala na yung 62.4 kasi dinibay na nito. Times 1.85 times 85 times 144 divide by 7 7.481 times 33,000 times 8.5 divide by 0.746 the efficiency will be hydraulic efficiency is 0.6843 So, napakadali. Saglit lang isolve. Okay. So, uh, we'll go with the last two problems kung saan nandun natin inilaga yung difficult problem na grand finale. Okay. So, uh, let's see. Okay.